Hi there, welcome back. I have a wonderful Hazen William equation problem for you today. Somebody shared it with me. They said they have seen a similar problem on the exam. So I think it's going to be a great learning experience today. Let's go. Water is flowing from one tank to another via 12 inch inside diameter PVC pipe. The distance between the two tanks is 9,000 feet and the head loss is nine feet. What is the discharge? in cubic feet per second if the pipe is considered to have a full flow and Hazen-Williams roughness coefficient C equals to 150. So the problem states right away the Hazen-Williams coefficient so you know that you have to use the Hazen-Williams formula. So we're going to go straight to the FE handbook and imagine that we are on the exam. We're going to do a search of hazen William. And I think it's written with a dash in between. There you go. And uh, this formula, the velocity and the discharge is in fluid mechanics. And then you have another one in uh, civil engineering under the water resources. So usually I come here and you have the same formulas here. The discharge formula, velocity formula, in our problem, we are asked to calculate the discharge. So I'll go ahead and just write this formula down. So we have the formula here. And now let's go over each term in the formula and see what we know and what we don't know. K1, if we go back to the FE handbook, K1 is given here in the handbook as 0 0.849 for SE units and 1.318 for US units. So we're going to use 1.318 since the information here is in feet. So I'm going to write down K1 is 1.318. And then we have C given in the problem as 150. Next, we have the area. We have a pipe diameter 12 inches have P D squared over four. And now the diameter 12 inches, we're gonna work in feet. So we're gonna do pi multiply by one squared over four. And this is gonna give you an area of 0 0.789 square feet. And next we have the hydraulic radius. And the formula for hydraulic radius is area divided by wetted perimeter. And we have the area. I'm going to write the formula, even though we have calculated it here. And there's a reason why. So the area is PD squared over 4. And then the wetted perimeter here is 2PD over two. And now look at this. This and this goes away. Pi and pi go away. And then this diameter and this diameter go away. So the hydraulic radius for a circular shape is diameter over four. So diameter is one foot over four. This is going to give us the hydraulic radius of 0 0.25 feet. So see here, it is very convenient to use the formula instead of substituting. It's going to make your um, calculation a little bit easier. So I suggest you do that. And next, next we have the slope. And looking in the problem, the problem does not give us the slope. And this is kind of interesting. Like, how are we supposed to, you know, solve this if we don't have the slope? But instead of that, I'm seeing here... I'm giving the length between the two tanks, right? And then the head loss. So I'm thinking, how is this going to help me calculate the slope? And let's see what this means. So if I think about the length between those two tanks and the head loss. So let's say this is the elevation of the tank number one. And then let's say um, someone here is the elevation of tank number two, right? This is one, 
this is too maybe this is too exaggerated <laughs> let me try this again so let's say here this tank number two right and so we are told that this distance is 900 feet and then the head loss what does that mean so the head loss this they talk about the static head loss the static head loss is the difference in elevation so if i do head loss is the difference in elevation from tank two minus or let me say elevation of elevation of tank two minus elevation of tank tank one and that being said this is going to give us so this is the head loss which is nine feet so now based on this information given in the problem we can actually figure out what is the slope because we know the slope is going to be equal to the head loss divided by the length 9,000 feet. And interestingly enough, this formula actually is given in the FE handbook. Let's go back in the FE handbook and let's say you don't know how can you use the head loss and the length to solve the problem. And here, right after this hazen William equation, you're told that the slope is the head loss, which is a static head loss, right? The difference in elevation divided by the distance between the, the two things. And so now that we know that, we can come back here and I'm going to substitute nine feet divided by 9,000 feet. This is going to be equal to 0 0.001. Wonderful. So now we have everything we need to substitute in this initial formula. So now Q is going to be equal to K1 is 1.318 multiplied by 150 multiplied by the area, which was 0 0.789 square feet, multiplied by hydraulic radius was 0 0.25 power 0 0.63, and multiplied by the slope, which is 0 0.001 power 054, and now it's just a matter of inputting this into your calculator and you should get a value of 1.55 cubic feet per second. So the correct answer is B. This is what I wanted to share with you today. I found it interesting that sometimes instead of just giving you everything for you to input in your formula. Sometimes they might do it quick like that. And it's very important to know how you can find the slope in this case by knowing these two terms. That's all I had for you today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. Keep working hard and I'll see you next week.